Christ Going Up to Heaven, Tract Number 47, by Unknown. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Reading by Matt Perard. Christ Going Up to Heaven, by Unknown. Once the Son of God walked about this world, but he is not here now. Where is he? Jesus, the Son of God, is in heaven. He is sitting on the throne of God, his Father. When did he go there? Oh, it is a long while ago since he went up to heaven. I will tell you how it was. Surely you would like to know all about it. On the day that he meant to go up to heaven, he took a walk with some of his dear friends. They loved him very much, as well they might. Just six weeks before, he had been nailed to a cross, and killed, and buried. But he had soon come out of his grave, and now the marks of the nails might be seen on his hands and feet, and the mark of a great spear in his side. But the places were quite well. They did not bleed now, though once they had bled a great deal. Whenever his friends looked at those marks, they thought of his love in dying for them, for it was for their sins he died, and not for theirs only, but for your sins also, my child. His friends liked to walk with him and to talk to him. About what did Jesus speak? About his Father and about heaven. He told his friends he should soon leave them, but he made them a promise. What was it? He said that he would send the Holy Spirit down from heaven to be with them. Who is the Holy Spirit? He is God. He comes down and fills the hearts of God's people. It is pleasant to see Jesus and to walk about with him, but it is still better to have the Holy Spirit in our hearts, for the Holy Spirit makes people good and happy. Where was Jesus when he took his last walk with his friends? He was in a town called Jerusalem, and he walked into the country. How sweet is a country walk? Children who live in towns are delighted when their fathers say to them, I shall take you to the green fields today. Then the children think, We shall hear the birds sing, and we shall gather flowers from the hedges, and see the little lambs by the side of their mothers. We shall play about and be so happy. And even grown-up people like to go into the country. If they wish to talk about God, they like to walk in a quiet place among shady trees. Jesus took his friends by his favorite path. He led them down into a low place over a little stream, then by a garden where olive trees grew, then up a green mountain called Olivet. When they were at the top, he began to pray with them. While he prayed, he lifted up his hands to bless them. In a moment he was gone. A cloud took him up. His friends looked up, and the cloud was going up higher and higher, till at last it looked like a speck, and then could not be seen at all. But on the mountain top there stood two men. They were angels, dressed in white. No one can tell how bright angels look, or how sweetly they speak. These angels had come to comfort the friends of the Lord Jesus. They said, Why do you stand looking up towards heaven? Jesus shall come again in the same way that you have seen him go into heaven. Has Jesus come again? Not yet, but he will come. Those angels would not have told lies. They know that Jesus will one day come down here again, and that they shall come with him. What a glorious day it will be! Some people will be very much frightened when they see him. They will howl and shriek and try to hide themselves in deep holes, but they will not be able to get away. The angels will seize them and shut them in that dark and burning place where Satan will torment them for ever and ever. But some people will be glad to see Jesus. They will say, This is our God. We have waited for him. Should you be glad, my dear child, to see Jesus? this day? We know not when he will come. Have you prayed to him today? Do you love him? 
But what became of the friends of Jesus who were standing on Mount Olivet, looking up into the sky? They could not stay with the angels. They went back to Jerusalem. Did they go back crying and sobbing and saying, We have lost our dearest friend? Oh, no, they went back quite glad, for they had not lost Jesus. They knew where he was gone. They knew he would pray to his father, and that he would send down the Holy Spirit very soon. So they waited at Jerusalem, as Jesus had told them, and in ten days Jesus did send down the Holy Spirit upon his dear friends. There is a sweet name given to the Holy Spirit. It is this, the Comforter. Why is he called the Comforter? Because he comforts people when they are in trouble. When we are unhappy, we like to be comforted. If a little child falls down and hurts itself, it runs crying to its mother. It wants to be comforted. And, oh, how tenderly a mother comforts her little darling. She takes it on her knee and kisses it and says, Tell mother what is the matter. Has it hurt its dear little hand? And then she kisses the hand, and the child soon leaves off crying and leans its head upon its mother's bosom. But no mother can comfort as the Holy Spirit can. He tells people that God loves them and has forgiven their sins and will take them to heaven. My child, ask God for his Holy Spirit, and he will hear you. You may find the history of Jesus going up to heaven in Luke twenty four fifty to end. Acts 1, 1 through 12. There is a glorious world of light above the starry sky, where saints departed, clothed in light, adore the Lord most high. We are marching through Emmanuel's ground, and soon shall hear the trumpet sound. We hope to meet at Jesus' feet, and never, never part again. What? Never part again? No, never part again. What? Never part again? No, never part again. We hope to meet at Jesus' feet, and never, never part again. Hill's Collection Prayer O Father in heaven, thou hast made all things, the sun, moon, and stars, the land and sea. Thou hast made me, thou hast taken care of me. I thank thee for all thy kindness. Great God, thou art in every place. Thou seest in the dark, as well as in the light. Thou knowest all the naughty things that I have done, and said, and thought. O merciful Lord, pardon my sins, because Jesus Christ, thy dear Son, died upon the cross for sinners. Give me thy Holy Spirit, that I may love thee and obey thy laws. Keep me from minding Satan, and save me from going to hell. And whenever I die, oh, take my soul to heaven. When Jesus comes with clouds, and with the holy angels, may I be glad to see him. May my dear parents and brothers and sisters be happy with thee for ever and ever. May all people love thee, and speak of thy goodness. Hear me, for Christ's sake. Amen. End of Christ Going Up to Heaven by Unknown